Students, today we will be doing experiment 7b, which has to be done on page 14. The pollen grain of hibiscus flower. Now the pollen grain is the male part of the flower and we observe the mounting of the pollen grain under the compound microscope. Again, I'm showing you the flower. This, these are the antelopes and inside the antelopes are the pollen grains. These are the stigma and below is the filament and the style is inside which then ends up in the ovary covered by a corolla made up of petals and a calyx made up of sepals. These are the parts of the hibiscus flower. Remember the hibiscus flower is a bisexual flower. It has both the male and the female part in it. So it's called a bisexual flower. Now what are the parts of a compound microscope? You've studied these. This is my compound microscope. It's the bigger microscope. The various parts are, this lens here is called the eyepiece. This lens here down is the objective. This here is the coarse adjustment knob. The smaller one is the fine adjustment knob. This is the stage which has stage clips. This is the light device which provides light so you can see the pollen grain clearly. So this is your compound microscope. We will be using the compound microscope to mount the pollen grains. We'll put the slide on the stage and observe the pollen grains. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to take the pollen grains on the slide. You can use either a needle, this is the needle, or you can use a forcep, okay? And dust the pollen grains from the anther by tapping, dust them onto the slide. Tap, 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 tap. Can you see all these yellow little particles? They're all the pollen grains. So you can... Now what you have to do is, with the back of your needle, just press them a bit so that they get separated. Otherwise they all form one big lump of pollen grains. So press them a bit. Then take a drop of water. Put it on the pollen grains. Take your cover slip. And very gently... This is the way to release your cover slip. Release the cover slip and let it fall over the pollen grains. Now you have to take your slide and mount it under the compound microscope. Now you can see I have put the slide on the stage of the compound microscope. I'll just go through the parts again. Eyepiece, this is called the nose. This is the objective, the lens near the object. This is the coarse adjustment knob the fine adjustment knob, the stage with the clips, and this is the light adjust, light source, okay? So, I have put the slide with the pollen grains on the stage. Now, I have to start observing how I need to focus this microscope. First thing, put the lens down using the course of adjustment put the lens down and then slowly put your eye on the eyepiece and lift the lens higher till you get some thing on your slide now through the lens I'm trying to show you that there's a whole group of rounded pollen grains. You may not be able to see it very clearly, but it is very clear and good enough for you for your exam. Okay, they're rounded yellow structures, the pollen grains. I will draw it for you and explain it to you also. Now the pollen grain looks like this, a single pollen grain. It's rounded, it's yellow in color, and it has spines on it. The reason it has spines on it is because it can stick to the body of insects and get carried by the insects from one flower to the other for pollination. 
the outer covering of the pollen grain is called the exine and these are the spines now all you have to draw is a simple diagram like this but many children draw something like this which is wrong we don't want a diagram like this please do not draw this this is totally wrong all you have to do is draw a pollen grain with a few spines on it this is absolutely fine so pollen grain is the male part of the flower it has to be mounted under the compound microscope and it is a long experiment whereas ovary is a short experiment it has to be mounted under the dissecting microscope and it is the female part of the flower so there can be any number of spines but the function of the spines is to carry be carried on the bodies of insects from one flower to another for pollination thank you children